I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. Grad school I went to University of South Carolina and undergrad I went to University of Florida. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, me, I don't know. PhD, <laughs> cancer biology scientist. Oh, I work in a biotech company. We make COVID-19 testing kits, oh, stuff like that. Cool. And then six. It has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. Tyler, he ranked last for me personally because the way he carries himself. He was ranking intelligence based on his point of view and not taking in <laughs> other people's point of views. So number one is Raymond. Number two would be Kaylee. Number three will be Tyler. And number four would be Shada. Number five is Sean. And number six is Maria. <laughs> <laughs>そう、this video proves that whomever who need to be loud about something or it's bragging about particular quality or particular stuff is because they are lacking of it. That doesn't mean that just because she got the lower score uh, that she's not intelligent per se, but she was showing some attitude that, in my opinion, shows a lack of EQ, as she was saying that is emotional intelligence, like. She was judgmental and she was basically describing herself when she was saying like I won't rate somebody according to my bias and all this stuff and that was basically what she did. Um, just because Tyler didn't have a degree, all of them assumed that he was the less smart person in the room when the reality is that if the fact that uh, he was working from the Marine shows that this guy had a big ability to use his uh, intelligence, um, making decisions and, you know, all of this stuff. Um, I also loved uh, Tyler's attitude towards the criticism where he was very calm and he didn't take it personally. He was actually very fine about it as he knew himself. And that's also a quality that in my opinion shows that he's not only humble, but mature and is showing a lot of intelligence as well in how to manage into this type of situation where people uh, sometimes can um, underestimate you. And this is, you know, by taking into account this word that I said that is underestimated, it is something that we need to learn never do that because that to me it's uh, showing a lack of respect towards somebody as you're basically being condescending and showing that uh according to you this person is not um able to do something just because of your bias and that's not actually showing uh, intelligence because someone who's intelligent as well should know better that as you don't know somebody background you don't know what to expect so Her attitude uh, overall is kind of embarrassing. The fact that well, she's making this dance and, oh, I'm bragging about this. Yes, you, maybe you're really proud of it, but you just don't need to have this attitude and then use it against somebody just to uplift yourself and then ended up making, or oh, ended up being a joke like she did there, which is basically what she deserved because that was a moment that maybe she needed the most is to be humble herself and realizing that um, she's not always going to be the smarter person in the room and that she never, uh, and I guess that she learned the lesson, never underestimated anybody because they lack a you know, university degree, which I do respect people who you know, are academic, they, you know, work hard to get the results they get, but there are other people that maybe didn't have the chance to go to university. However, that doesn't mean that they are less valuable or they are less smart as there are other type of intelligence out there. So I would like to know, uh, do you think the IQ test actually um, represents the intelligence of a person in general? What is your opinion about that? So I will let you to leave it in the comments. And as I always say, I just uh, hope that you like the video. Just give me a like. And uh, I do this with all of my heart. And see you next time. Bye bye.